Foundation really helped to make our celebration special. I know I'll definitely come back. I can't wait to visit again. For more information, log on to goodnewsfoundation.org. And now that we've given you some tips to help you stop procrastinating, we thought we'd show you some tools to help you keep track of your newfound efficiency. Today's tech editor, Corey Greenberg, has the cutting edge in timepieces, calendars, and a whole lot more. Corey, good to see you. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Happy New Year. This is great. Now, the, I love clocks. I'm clocks a clock cool. fan, but some of them are much more high-tech than others. This one is one that, to me, could get a little irritating. Well, this, you know, a lot of people in the crew were talking about that. This is really for people who are totally hip. They don't want to have the standard white plastic alarm clock by their bed. So this is by Hammaker Schlemmer. This is in the Hammaker catalog. This actually projects the image of an analog dial face clock up on a darkened wall. Now, this is not meant for everyday use. This is for in your bedroom. It projects the clock on the wall, so you don't have to squint when you look at the clock radio. It also looks very cool. But the weird thing about this, as I look around it, is it doesn't have a clock you can actually look at. So it's only for night. So you'd need two clocks. Well, but if you're, if you're so hip that you have a clock like this, you don't really have to get up that early. Oh, okay. You know, good. that's the deal. Also, you live in New York, you get a really high power one of these. You project it right across the street <laughs> into your neighbor's apartment. Right, right. Which would be cool. How right. much is this? That's $99. So very hip and suave. All right, let's start up here. Let me turn this one on. This, this is really cool. so cool. Custom neon clock. Now, this is a guy in Utica, New York, named Howie. I called him on Friday. Does Howie have a last name? Howie? Or just Howie? Howie the neon guy. Right. I found him on Friday. I called him up on Friday. He came today. He came yesterday, actually, with this custom design clock for the Today Show. This is actually going in the offices. So they start about $500 on up, but he will make a custom neon clock to your specifications, anything you want, and he does it all by hand. Yeah, but wait, you got it in a couple of days because you're on the Today Show. How long would it take the, uh, an average person to get one well, of these? It took made? me a couple of days. Anyone else take him just one day? <laughs> <laughs> the old pull of the Today Show, right? Of course. And what was the price on that? Uh, well, they started about five hundred dollars, and they, there are different sizes. This one's actually twenty-one inches. If for this kind of clock with all the accoutrements and all the neon, this would be about seven hundred and change. Okay. This Talk real, about real this. Nice. This is a Pentagon. This is so cool. This clock. is also out of the Hammaker catalog. This is a, called the Geochron. And this is actually a thin sheet of mylar, which is slowly moving across the lights. So it tells you at any given moment what part of the world is lit up and what so part of the world is dark. In this arc right here, that's where the sunlight is right now. And very, very slowly, that would be moving, in this case, to the west. Right. And it would show the highlighted area. Exactly. And it tells you the different time zones. And they use this at the Pentagon, at NASA. The guy who invented this actually invented it because he used to go overseas a lot. And his wife would call him and wake him up early because she didn't know what time it was over there. So it, it motivated him to invent this clock so that she would know when not to call him. Get a this calendar also, down here. And what does calendar? this mean up here? Uh, this is uh, my <laughs> current age. <laughs> you, have no, you have no idea. I have no idea what that is. Uh, okay, that's I have, fine. I have relative humidity. Very I'm, high tech no and idea. great. Let's talk about some personal organizers. Yes, this is for people who, especially people who had never had a PDA before, personal digital assistant. This is a great starter Palm. This is Palm's new Zyre 21. How much is that? 99 bucks. So it's, it's at the low end. Not their cheapest Palm, but I really recommend this as the entry level Palm. But what can't it do? I know for that, I mean, you can't get all the bells and whistles. You don't have the color screen. You can't go online with it, for instance. It doesn't have the expansion cards. It also only has eight megabytes of memory versus 16 and 32 of the bigger models. But for a basic organizer for your, all your recipes and your address book and your contacts, your calendar, this is the perfect PDA to start off with. And we're going up the line in cost and capability. What's this one? This is also by Palm. This is brand new called the Tungsten E. Now, this is the lowest price of their high-end tungsten line. If you have a Palm now and you're looking to trade up, this is the one I recommend, $199. But this is a real feature-packed Palm for the money. Just under $300 is this one over here. This is by HP. This is the iPack Pocket PC. Now, the Pocket PC is kind of the rival to the Palm. This is sort of Microsoft software shrunken down. It's got miniaturized Microsoft Word and Outlook. This is for people who are comfortable with Microsoft Office and want it on their handheld. And if you point it like this, it actually shines the time on your chest <laughs> there also. No, I'm not nice. nearly cool enough for that. Low tech. You know that's me. I still have you a leather bound what? organizer. And I love it, to my, be honest my, with you. My wife is totally in that bag as well. Her, she lives and dies by her Filofax, loves it. I can't get her wired, but she loves the paper organizer. People who love paper organizers, Filofax is really the number one. Did I say mm -hmm. something? Was it? That you can't get your wife wired, but that's okay. okay. <laughs> well, that's it's another, a whole that's other another subject, segment. We'll yeah. get Gail back on to talk about that. Right. Um, <laughs> the Filofaxes are huge. They're really the number one. Now they come in a lot of different colors. And they even make one uh, with alligator skin for like $800. But they start at $20, very reasonable. And I think 
think, the best organized of the paper organizers. They have maps in there, even a ruler. And Toomey, one of my favorite luggage companies, also is in the organizer business. Now they have a whole line of accessorized organizers, not quite as full featured as the Filofaxes. But also reasonable, about 50 bucks or yeah, something. Yeah, they start like that. about 50 and they go on up, depending on how calculated. And then finally, the roulette watch, my favorite product. This is also by Howie the Neon Guy. This is a roulette wheel on a quartz watch. You wear this on your wrist and you shake your wrist and the little ball runs around. Come on, black 42, black 42, and then you play roulette. So you can tell the time and lose money at the very same time. Exactly. How much is that? 49 bucks. That's bad. All right. Corey, thank you very much. Happy we New Year, Matt. And happy New Year to you and to your wife. And let's go over to Ann. All right. Thanks a lot, Matt. Just a few moments ago, Emma Siskin and Krista Sousa had their knee-length hair cut off so they could donate it to kids who suffer from hair loss due to alopecia or from chemotherapy. And Madonna Kaufman is the founder of Locks of Love. Good morning. Again, once you guys, how are you feeling about your haircuts? And, and what does it feel like to give so much of yourself? It feels, help other people. It feels wonderful. The reaction Emma and I got when we wore it down, it was a positive one. I just like, I'd like to share that with other kids. That it feels that good. What does it feel like for you, Emma, well, it inside? Feels, it feels really good, and I know that I've helped other children, and they'll feel better. I know. It's such an important thing, Madonna. I know you're gratified by their contribution, the contribution of anybody else who would be involved. We should mention that Daniel and Nicholas from Matrix here in New York participated in the hair cutting. We want to give them a little thanks for that. Thanks so thanks, much, gentlemen, for your participation. You. Anybody else who wants to, to participate, how do they donate their hair? Really quickly. Oh, well, actually, we don't have enough time, but we said we'll that put it on our website. On our website, everybody. Happy New Year. Don't drink and drive. We'll see you tomorrow.